Dr. G with Nostalgia Gaming Retro, I'm doing my first Nuzlocke challenge with Pokemon Green. I don't know if I can complete it. I hope so. I'm not a Pokemon expert at all. Um, but I did go to the T-Mobile store the other day and the lady working there told me that she believed in me and that it, it meant a lot, guys. I felt like I could believe in myself, you know? So thank you, T-Mobile lady, wherever you are, probably at T-Mobile. Anyway, let's play this game. New game. Hello there. Welcome to the... Oh, I love it when there's only five words in the little dialogue boxes. It makes reading it aloud super awkward. Love that. World of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me a big nerd. The, pro the Pokemon Prof. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for fights. Myself, <coughs> I have an illegal fighting ring and I study Pokemon as a profession, I mean. First, what is your name? Very convenient if your name is Green, Gary, or John. <laughs> I almost put my real name. Right, so your name is Dr. G. Yep. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were a baby. What is his name again? Oh, poor Professor Oak. I think he has like dementia or something. Can somebody go check on this guy? His name is fucking Lob Lobster. Lobster. His name's Lobster. It's a good name. A classic name there. That's right, I remember now. I remember my grandson's name. It, his his name is Lobster. Sure, Professor Oak. Sure. Dr. G. Your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. I shrunk. Oh, we gotta play the Nintendo. Yes, we do. I think there's a Pokemon or a, a potion up here, but I don't. I can't use potions without penalty, so I'm not even gonna bother. Hey, mom, what's up? Right, all boys leave home someday. It said so on TV. I forgot. I I don't get to pick my gender in this one, so I am a boy. Is looking for you. Okay. Hey, I'm raising Pokemon too. When they get strong, they can protect me. That's dope. Pallet Town, shades of your journey await. <laughs> the, the motto of uh, Pallet Town is basically like, get the fuck out of here, go journey somewhere. Hey, what's up? I study Pokemon as Prof Oak's aide. Nerd? Let me guess, you're a nerd too? Yep, I knew it. It's been a long time since I played these older games. A very, very, very long time. Prof Oak is the authority on Pokemon. Many Pokemon trainers hold him in high regard. That's cool. Sup, fucking lobster bitch? Yo, Dr. G, Rams isn't around. Good. Lobster's house. Yeah. That's cool. What if I just went back in and I was like, I don't think I can do this, Mom. I am too tired today. Whoa! Hey, wait. Don't go out. It's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in the tall grass. 
You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. Lobster. Gramps! I'm fed up with waiting! Lobster? Let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Dr. G. There are three Pokemon here. Ha ha! What's the ha ha for? I don't get it. They are inside the Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious dork. Pokemon trainer. In my old age, I have only three left. Oh my god, he killed a lot of Pokemon, I'm guessing. But you can have one. Choose. Hey, Gramps! What about me? Be patient. Shut the fuck up, Lobster. I'm gonna go... Yep, I'll take Bulby. I was gonna do Bulbasaur or Squirtle. Um, but I didn't know which, I couldn't remember which one was which, which, uh, of the balls were which. You want the plant Pokemon? Yeah. So anyway, um, this Nuzlocke is a variant. Um, we start with, um, 151 points. Um, you lose points for not naming Pokemon for any Pokemon fainting, any healing status or effect items you use, status effect items, uh, reviving a fallen Pokemon, or obviously, like, um, just fainting. Um, you get points by going and beating gyms, um, celery, It's a good name. Um, and you can only catch one per area, but we're not following the first encounter rule. Yeah, take that one. Lobster received a Charmander. That's cool. Well, smell you later. Wait, Dr. G. Let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. I mean, okay. Lobster wants to fight! He always wants to fight. Since we are babies, he's been, like, trying to fight me. Celery God. Now we're just gonna go for some... Freaking... Straight up tackles. Oh no, I'm afraid to die on my first fight. That was good though. This is fine. If you just wanna, you know. Yeah. Alright, I feel pretty. I'm feeling pretty good. I was gonna sneak in a growl, but you know what? I'm glad I didn't. I just needed a full-out offense. Bitch. You did. I mean, you fainted. 69 experience points. Nice. Level 6. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I did. Because Lobster is a little bitch. Unbelievable. I picked the... Wrong Pokemon. Well, pfft, that's because you're stupid. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon fight to toughen it up. Dr. G. Grant, smell you later. Oh my god, I said that first. You are a copycat. I guess somewhere in my brain I must have remembered that he says that. Because I said that. I think you can get a map from her or something. Hi, Dr. G. Lobster's out at Grandpa's lab. Oh. Maybe not. 
Alright, well, I don't need anything here anyway, so... Let me make sure my... My guy is healed, okay. I was pretty sure, but I wanted... Oh my god! <laughs> that little icon of it looks insane! I'm easily amused, okay. Let's go. I don't think this guy fights me. Do you fight me? I will die. Oh, you work at a Pokemon Mart? It's a convenient shop, so please visit us in Viridian City. I know, I'll give you a sample. Here you go. I got a potion. Cool, bro. Thank you. I cannot really use that. Um. I th uh, does this guy attack? I don't remember. See those ledges along the road? It's a bit scary, but you can jump from them. You can get back to Pallet Town quicker that way. Oh no, he does fight me? Oh no, he doesn't fight me. <laughs> hey, that was tricky. What? Bag it. I'll fight this one. I don't care. How dare you! Nice! Celery God, you're like bringing in some critical hits. I like that about you. Oops. Oh shit. I love the sound of the healing. It's so like nostalgic. Hell yes. Here we go, here we go. Oh my god, I love that sound. It's so exciting to me. I don't know. I'm a big nerd. Okay, what are you... What are you doing, guy? They heal your tired, hurt, or fainted Pokemon. It's also kind of weird that, like... I didn't pay attention just, just now, but... Um... The, like... Nurse or whatever is always like, Come back and see us again soon! I'm like, um... What? You want my Pokemon to get hurt? That's kinda sus. That's cool. I kinda like- I like that sound. One more time. gotta go in here now that I'm yeah yep you know prof oak right mm-hmm I, I mean I guess it's, I'm not his fucking aide he has at least two that I know of what are you doing no potions are all sold out well fight better bro this shop sells many antidotes that's cool, I guess. Alright, guys. I'm out. I'm gonna go back to stupid Pallet Town. Got your shit. Y'all lazy assholes could've gone and got his parcel, by the way. Hey. Oh, Dr. G. How is my old Pokemon? You mean the one I got, like, five minutes ago? Well, it seems to like you a lot. Yeah, we've really bonded in these five minutes. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. Not really. If something were me? There you go. Ah! This is the custom Pokeball I ordered. Thank you. Lobster. Gramps! I, th I don't know why I always do that um, voice for him, but it just seems right in my heart. I totally forgot about it before, but... You did want to give me an errand, isn't it? I read that wrong, I guess. Oh, right, I have a request of you, too. On the desk, there's my invention, Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Oh, so the journal? The blank journal? Is that what you're talking about? Take these with you. Okay, I mean... To make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the 
world. That was my dream. But I'm too old. I can't do it, because I can't even remember my grandson's name. So you two have to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving. Fucking fulfill my dream, you assholes. That's what he's saying. Alright, Gramps, leave it all to me. Dr. Gene had to say it, but I don't need you. I know. I'll borrow a town map for my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, Dr. G. Ha ha ha. Your sister probably thinks you're a douchebag, too. Watch me get a map. I was right earlier. You can get a map from her. I remembered that. I hope. I think. I hope. Yep. Oh. Thank you. Why is Professor Oak, like, demanding that I do all of this stuff for him anyway? Like, he's just like, oh yeah, that, the only two kids in my town, I'll just have them go out and fight Pokemon because, you know, that's what one does. What are you doing? When I go shop in Pewter City, I have to take the winding trail in Viridian Forest. That's cool, that's what I'm gonna do. What's up, weirdo? Hmm, seems like I was drunk? This is a children's game, sir. My head hurts. By the way, are you in a hurry? Yeah, kinda. Time is money, go along then. I did your errand. You don't care. I'm just gonna get some of these, cause why not? Maybe that's maybe I just have to buy them and then like good. I don't know. Let's go check out this area over here. Oh shit! I want this! Okay. Don't blow it. Come on, Celery God. We need this one. You can tackle that a little bit, that's... Okay. I'll do one tackle. Depending on how that goes, I'll do- I'll do two ta- I can do two tackles. I'll do two tackles. Should I do two tackles? I'm gonna do two tackles, it's- it's happening. Okay. I'm- I'm fine with that. Oh man, I realized it being black and white makes it harder to tell exactly where they're at. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a try. Oh yeah. Hell yes. You know, this is gonna be... I needed this guy. Yes! Yes! His name is... King... Yeah. Oh, look at King Tut! What a fucking legend! Alright. Cool. 
So Route 22, check. Now that we have some Pokeballs, we can also go back and grab a few guys on Route 1 and 2. Hell yeah. I'm gonna get a Rattata. Here we go. Level two? I mean... That's fine. Tata. Nice. Hell yeah. Yes, I do. And I already have the perfect name. Galadriel. Matt used to have a rat named Galadriel, so, you know, I had to go with that. Okay, so we got Route 1, Rattata, Route 22, um, Anidoran. We'll go to Route 2 and get something. That's fine. Cat pie. Yeah, we'll, we'll take one of those. What a dork. if I've made a good choice here. But uh, it's probably fine. I just wanted to beef up Galadriel some. I think I can do... Give it a go. Yes, I do. Um, this is going to be. With a question mark, like we're not sure 
but probably it's a tornado. Alright, let's look at my crew. They're gonna look they're gonna look nice, guys. Look at this. Oh my god, look at all of this. Why does Galadriel look like a fucking reindeer? Okay. I'm just gonna like do a tiny bit of ground grinding to get them up a little bit. Cause I don't wanna lose any of these guys, cause I only get so many Pokemon. Especially I wanna level up, I think. Actually, King Tut the most. But we'll, we'll, uh. Tornado's my lo least priority. Mm. I just don't even, like, remember what Pokemon are coming up or what ones will be good for what routes. So, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna. Hey, what are you doing? Are you going to pretty- yeah? It's a natural maze. But I can figure out. Rattata may be small, but its bite is wicked. It's wicked! Did you get one? Yes, I have one. It's wicked. You fight me now? Oh, I came here for some friends. Are you gonna fight me? Oh, there- your friends are fighting? I wanna read this sign, cause- it gives me tips that I already know. Yep. Yeah, let's fight this guy. Maybe I can do this challenge. I'm getting confident. But you know, the T-Mobile lady said that she believed in me. I was surprised she even knew what the hell a Nuzlocke challenge is anyway. I just happened to mention it to Matt while we were waiting. And she was like, oh, you're doing a Nuzlocke. What one are you gonna do? And I'm like, green. And she was like, oh, nice. I've done several, I think is what she said. And I was like, I have done a zero. And I was like, I don't know if I can do it. And she was like, oh, you can do it. I believe in you. And I was like, oh my god, really? I'm touched. So if she says I can do it, you better fucking believe I can do it. Who's gonna fight me? Oh, he's gonna- <laughs> There we go. I was just starting to think, hey, none of these people are attacking me. Yeah, we can battle him. That's cool. So you're gonna poison me? That's fucking rude. Alright, I got this, probably. Dang. There we go. Hell yeah. Yeah, let's bring out a... Bring out old King Tut. He can fuck up a... He or she can fuck up a... Caterpie?
That is... a low level. That's okay, we'll just put him in for a minute so we can get the experience. We'll bring out Celery God. Be great. We'll do a little bit of Bleach Seeding because that's pretty good. this bitch. There we go. you. Stop missing, bro. Pokemon trainer wants to fight like I care. We're gonna actually straight up just get Celery God. critical hit, but it's not very effective. Hell yeah. Yeah! Nice, nice, nice. Aw, so nice. Yeah, let's uh... Go ahead and bring out, uh... Galadriel. Got this Galadriel. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. All right. Hell yeah. I love attacks that are quick. Sick. 
Wheel? Yeah. Man, I'm in awe. Like, some people are, like, s so crazy good at Pokemon. They just know, like, it's like, man, I don't even know what they know because I don't know because I'm not good at Pokemon. They got some mad strategy is all I'm saying. My strategy is try something and hope it fucking works. So far, so good. But that, uh, Tactic is not gonna get me through this game. Not through this challenge. That's what I'm talking about. King Tut. Homie. Nice. Nice. Oh, that's too bad. I want this. Good to have, even though it will cost me greatly to use it. Hell yeah. Oh, I think... I've been that way. Okay, so that's just a loop. May as well fight this! Can't... won't be losing no HP, so... Tackles, but hold. Ooh, nice job, King. So my strategy when I used to play this as a kid is I would just get a team of the Pokemon that I liked the best. Like, the ones pretty much I thought were, like, the cutest or had coolest moves. And I would make my team out of those guys. And if I needed to grind a lot to make them strong enough to beat the game, that's what I did. And this is probably going to be actually similar. I feel like I'm going to have to grind a lot. And, um, that will be boring for you to watch. But, you know, I, I don't know. If you're watching this now, then I mean, you are either editing this video, or you enjoy Nuzlocke challenges or Pokemon, or you like it for some reason. Maybe it's relaxing. Maybe you just want to watch me do stupid stuff and like think in your head like, I'm superior. Why does she suck so bad at this? Maybe that's why you're watching. I don't know. Whatever floats your boat, though, you know? I don't know how much of the grinding is going to be edited out. I have no idea. I don't know, so... Just... I'm going to do whatever I can to win this challenge. So... That means I got to win. That's how you win the challenge. You do it by winning. I see you, bitch. Hey, wait up. What's the hurry? Man, the hurry is that I gotta... Um... Fly to Ecuador. I don't know why that was the first random thing that my brain thought of, but wait. Yeah. 
just in case. The Sweetle's a pretty beefy, um, a pretty beefy level, so. I should just start, like, making a story as I go about something random and any time we're just grinding. Well, I don't know. Maybe I need to pay attention better. But I could make a story that I just, like, made little parts of along as I went while just, like, you know, grinding. Do you think I should do that? Or do you think it will cause me to fail? Let us know down in the comments. Also, you could make fun of me in the comments. Definitely. Sorry, like, this is like a really strung out battle here. Because I'm not that good at Pokemon. Gotta tackle that tiny little sliver of health. Nice. Nice! Cool. You weren't that cool. I give. You're good at this. No, <laughs> bro. No. I'm, I'm really not. Thank you. That's nice of you to say. This must be leaving Brilliant Forest. So... Oh, hey, what's up, guy? Have you noticed the bushes on the roadside? They can be cut down by a special Pokemon move. Yep, I know. Many Pokemon live only in forests. And caves. You need to look everywhere to get different kinds. You right? Okay, let's go ahead and get healed. What are you doing? Yawn! When Jigglypuff sings, the Pokemon get drowsy. Me too. Bro, you're making me want to take a nap. Alright, that does it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to tune in for the future episodes of the challenge. And let's hope that I can do it. See you next time.